Well, the U.S. says Ukraine can now attack the Russians on their home turf using American weapons. Fox News chief national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin has more from the Pentagon. Russia is stepping up its attacks on Ukraine's eastern front, putting pressure on Kharkiv, the country's second biggest city. But now the Ukrainians have a new way to fight back, President Biden giving the green light for attacks inside Russian territory using American-made missiles. A senior U.S. official tells Fox this is a limited policy shift for the purpose of defending Kharkiv. But at a two-day NATO meeting in Prague, Secretary of State Antony Blinken hinted there could be more coming. The stakes couldn't be higher at this moment. Going forward, we'll continue to do what we've been doing, which is, as necessary, uh, adapt and adjust. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has been asking for this authorization for months, and now he says he'll press for the White House to allow Ukraine to use other weapons, including Western-made F-16s, to take the fight to Russia. They can stay just on their territory through the borderline, just attack us and kill. And this is something not normal. Ukraine's military was low on ammunition and not able to push back against Russian attacks for nearly seven months, and now Moscow says it will keep pushing ahead with its spring offensive. Russian forces are displacing the enemy from their positions. Advancement is taking place in all tactical directions. The White House says American long-range tactical missiles can only be used by Ukraine to hit military targets inside Russia, not civilian infrastructure. At the Pentagon, Jennifer Griffin, Fox News.